John Rodbury and welcome to John's Metal Detecting Adventures. As you can see, I'm going to do my presentation at the hall. There we go. Look, Borstall Hall. What a building. Is that awesome? Bit. There you go. Elizabeth the second. Three pennies, three pence. That's all we got. Some sort of Victorian draw handle. Seventy sixty nine. Ah, a bit of 1950s pottery glazed with different pattern but uh, I think it's in geometrics I think but yeah sixes I think <laughs> some sort of brass fitting sounds like that no idea what that is and that was 82 massive So here we have uh, some 18th century part of a jug. Probably some sort of drinking jug, beer. Uh, you can tell by the colour and the thickness. Part of a, a beer jug. So I think that bit of pottery. 18th century. Uh -huh. sure I think there's a old cow tag. You see the number six or number nine. Made of lead. Cow tag. Uh, Victoria with the veil morning veil Victoria 1896 Victoria <laughs> door handle Victorian door handle ah. that was 71 Victorian door handle Third uh, teaspoon. So we got there, pewter teaspoon, thirty. That is one big dandy button. Sixty six. Massive. Big count button. It's a big one. 66 Oh I think we've got a Aha uh -huh. It's a Horse harness That's what that is Yeah 1960s toy gun <laughs> Probably what I've been playing with when I was a kid. Toy gun. Gold 45 toy. <laughs> and that was uh, 71. Ah, yes. 
We've hit the silver now. We're doing now. That's a shilling. Shilling of Victoria. Ah oh, yes, we got the silver. We have a Victoria shilling for a 1900. Um, she's got the veil on, so that's what she uh, usually dresses after 1893. She puts the uh, morning veil on. And there it is. Shilling of Victoria. That'll do nicely. Silver. Thank you for watching. I'm hoping that you may subscribe. And we will catch you on another adventure. Not quite sure where we're going to go next, but it's going to be with the Manticore. The ground is just perfect. It's all damp. I think we're going to have some rain tomorrow, which is perfect for me. I like it all nice and wet and damp. Better for the machines. With the Manticore tomorrow, I'll do alternate machines. And we'll see what we're going to find with the Manticore.